let's look at this problem together. Are you ready? Okay, this says, will, we're gonna run through the problem, right? R is for read. Will had four pennies. Later that day, he found five more pennies. How many pennies does Will have now? Okay. When we run through the problem, the U is for underline the label. So let's look and see if there's a, a label. What is the story about? Penny. Pennies. Go ahead and underline pennies. Excellent job. And then we name the problem type. N is for name. Do you think this is a change problem too? Like the other ones we did? Mm -hmm. Is there a start amount and something's changing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna write, this is a change problem. Okay, so let's look at this problem. He had four pennies. Later that day, he found five more pennies. How many pennies does he have now? If he had four pennies and then he found more, is that a change increase or is that a change decrease? Increase. It is an increase because he found more, didn't he? Very nice work. Okay, so I'm going to write that it's a change increase. Okay, now let's use our change poster to help us solve this problem. Okay, first we're going to write the change equation. Did you say it was an increase or a decrease? Increase. You said it's an increase, so we're going to use this change equation. Can you write ST for start amount? Plus C for the change equals the end amount. Very nice touch. Okay, ST is for the start amount, C is for the Change. change and E is for the end amount. end amount. Very good. So what's our start amount in this problem? How many four. pennies did Will? Yes, he had four. And it says we find the change amount. Change amount. What was the change amount? Five. Awesome job. Then we're going to find the end amount. Okay. Does our story tell us the end amount? No, that's the secret. That's the mystery. We're going to find it. Good job. Okay, now we need to write our signs. What signs do we have in that problem? What math symbols do we have? Good. Oh, good. So 4 plus 5 is the same as x, and you're right. 4 plus 5 is 9, so we're going to write x is the same as nine. Thank you. Nine what? What is our story about? We always have to have a number and a label. Pennies. Excellent job. Good job. So does that answer make sense? Does four plus five, is that the same as nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, and are we talking about pennies? It says, how many pennies does Will have now? I think, I think so. Very nice. Okay, we have one more problem. Let's run through our problem. What is R for? Read the problem. Okay, let's read the problem. Jada had seven lollipops. Then she gave three lollipops to Lexi. How many lollipops does she have now? Very good reading. Okay, let's look at U. U is for underline the label. What are we talking about in the story? Ah, lollipops. That's right, we're talking about how many lollipops does she have now? Very nice. Then we're gonna name the problem type. N is for name. What kind of problem is that? Do you think that's a change problem too? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it is a change problem. So go ahead and write a C for me there. Awesome. Uh, when we have a change problem, we have to decide whether we're increasing or we're decreasing. What do you think? Decreasing. Good. Why do you think that you're decreasing? 
because she gives three lollipop to Lexi. That's right. When she gives them away, she has fewer, doesn't she? Excellent job. Okay, so let's use our change poster. Are you ready? What's your first step? Write the change equation. equation. Good job. So, which change equation do we need to use? I like how you fix that. So it's easier to read. Can we write that one more time down here? That way it won't get confusing. Start minus the change equals, it's okay, write equals the end amount. Very nice, good. So we have our start amount minus our change amount equals our End amount. end amount. Okay, so what's our next step? Find the start amount. Okay, what's your start amount? Seven. Excellent job. Then find the change amount. Three. Good. And find the end amount. It doesn't tell us our end amount, does it? Very nice. So what are your math symbols you need? Good. So seven minus three is the same as x. x equals Four. Look at you. You're so fast. Okay. Now you have a number. Your answer needs one other thing. Do you remember? You are amazing. High five. And then we have to see, does that answer make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is seven minus three the same as four? Mm -hmm. Okay, and were we talking about lollipops? Mm -hmm. How many lollipops? You're amazing. Excellent job. Woohoo!